these are some distant relatives of yours. <laughs> Hello there. How are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, you do look like Ben. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Good. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello. Well, why don't we gather here for a family picture? Okay. With you in the middle. We'll oh, just... okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you've been seeing Washington. Yes, walking a lot. <laughs> right, Did we get your tours okay? Were the tours up for today? I can't remember what Yeah, day. yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. they're really nice, really yeah. nice. I still am not able to operate one of these, but maybe you can. It's a no <laughs> <laughs> And this is a little charm. Thank you. A charm. And a tie bar oh. and a pin. Thank you. Just to see the music. <laughs> This joint. <laughs> this joint. <laughs> I remember that saying. I've joint. been going on and on to Gail saying, you know, I don't know how you could stand to live with all this action all the time. <laughs> I wanted to show you him. Can you identify Maureen there? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. These are some we just picked out real quick so you could look at well. them. That was Dad with my grandma, which would be your aunt, right? Oh, yes. Catherine, and mm. then Charlotte. Do you remember? I mean, oh, yes. how, in Charlotte? Yes. <laughs> okay. This was dead. I guess that was before the accident. I don't think I ever saw him once. After. He got grown up there. <laughs> 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 this is a note. This one probably looks more like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But this is one we thought was very good. Hmm. Yes. Yep. And we want you to have that from us. That's a picture of us. Okay. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Would you please sign this? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to keep this. Second um, page. Second page. <laughs> you mean this page and this? This one. Oh, I see. I see what it is. I... Who's the first page? On here. Now, make sure I. Get the name right, Bradley. Right? Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> were you going to ask him anything? No? I thought you were going to ask him. You wanted to ask him a question yesterday. What were you going to ask? Where's Rex? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's probably upstairs in the White House. I've never seen a dog, dog that sleeps so much in all my life. But he's got some regular hours in which he goes out and taken around on the lawn, and uh, this we isn't one of them. <laughs> we think we got a glimpse of him yesterday, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And I looked at one of the books that you sent my class. I saw that Rex, and I saw the picture of him. Um, you just got Rex, and I saw Rex now, and he was, he was a dog. Oh, now, wait a minute. No, you saw a big dog? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he wasn't very big. Oh, no, that wasn't Rex, then. That probably was Lucky. She's at the, at the ranch. And then along came this little dog as a present here, and uh, so we could keep him at the White House. Lucky's at the, at the ranch, and, uh, and uh, big, real big, big dog. But... Uh, Rex is just a character who barks at everybody no matter how many times he's seen them. Uh, Maureen, he can, he can sit on her lap for an hour while we're sitting up there talking, but when she gets up and starts down the hall to a room, he chases her and barking at her as if she's yeah, an, <laughs> a thief coming into the house. And he's a character. Like most dogs. Like most dogs. <laughs> We've been asking this question for several days. Where does he look like you did? Oh, I can't believe the likeness. I really can't. <laughs> Dad finally let us hear it go so soon. We've read in all kinds of books that there's no dying of hair, right? But Dad, no unfortunately, dying. me growing white, or you know, white early too. Dad was real so white. But he colored his hair till. It, it, it turned orange you know. one time. Oh, no, but <laughs> the barber tells me I'm about 30% now. And he's getting a long way, but, uh, yeah, but it's, it's all mine. I can't figure out if it's through the eyes more. We're here, but a lot of likeness. Do you remember? I mean, what, the letter that I wrote, is there any truth to the story about 
the Rock River and taking the girls down in the boat and somehow you guys ended up the back with the ukulele and and Dad had to end up rowing home. This is what he told us. <laughs> well, I remember back then I was a big fan about ukuleles and I did have one. I was a lifeguard on the on the Rock River. But the boat was probably fabricated. <laughs> no, there, no. Were, there were two uh, on either side of the dock. There were two uh, boats, rowboats for, for lifeguarding and so forth, and I was in charge. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he, al he always said, he said, whenever we went out in the boat, he said, I came back rowing, and he said, oh, Dutch had the girls. He said, I knew he'd go far. <laughs> <laughs> have something to say. <laughs> She's our Nothing. quiet one. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> well, yeah. well, it's good to see you yeah. all. I Thanks so much for letting us see you. a good time. Yeah. We were having a throw here in our lifetime. Privilege, sir. Yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. That's the family coming in. This is Johnny. Hello, Hi, how, right, how are you? Adrian. Hello. Adrian. This is Tommy. Tommy. This is my wife, Anna. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Well, why don't you get in the middle? Okay. And why don't the children line up in front? And, uh, all right. Well, I wish you well at the War College. I appreciate it, sir. Good to miss you. It's been a pleasure serving you. It really has. Well, listen, thank you for everything. It'll be a long time before the service gets an opportunity to have a president like you again. Really. We've loved him. No, he's very kind. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've loved him. Thank, thank you very much. You guys are full of talk before. You're not going to talk now? No? No. Why not? <laughs> It's different on the other side of the camera, I'll tell you. It's standing over there. Can we have your autograph, please? Can you have my autograph? You, you <laughs> sure you can. Nice piece of paper. <laughs> and your first name again is? Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> thank you. There. Thank well, you very much. We appreciate well, your time. Listen. Well, I thank you for all that you've done. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure to see you. Good luck to you. Well, and to you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye.
And let there be no mistake, this bill causes me considerable concern. And I suspect that everyone around the table agrees that the legislation is, to say the least, somewhat flawed. The Tuesday's leadership meeting here, many uh, of the participants, some of you who are here now, urge that I veto the bill, but there are others who urge that I sign it. And Bob Dole suggested, and Bob Michael concurred, that we hold another meeting so that I could hear a broad spectrum of views on the subject, so here you all are. And of course, I want Frank Carlucci to be able to comment on his position on the legislation and to participate in a good dialogue with all of you. But let me first turn first then to Frank and then to Bob Dole and then we'll proceed with the general discussion. Well, thank you, Mr. President. I'll be very brief because most people know the facts. But if this bill turned out badly, I would have to consider recommending a veto. I also met with the conferees at one point and, and laid out our concerns. Uh, specifically, uh, the bill cuts the funding of SDI. More significantly, it has internal uh, earmarks on it uh, which restrict our ability to develop the space-based interceptor. It cuts way back on uh, MX uh, rail garrison has kind of a Good luck and wish you well. Yeah, thank you very much, Mom. Thank you for all you've done. Thanks for having the family come yeah, today, too. Yeah, I want a family. I've got to step over here you. and introduce everybody that okay. way. Okay. Mr. Thank President, you. this is my mother, Sophia. Hello, Hello there. Again. Well, nice to see you. Oh, nice to see you, too. This is my aunt. This is Anna Sens. Hello, there. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. And come, this is my brother, Charlie. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. This way. And this is my brother Robert. Hello. Hello. How are you? Pleasure to see you again, sir. Well, good to see you. And last but not least, this is my father. Good to see you again, sir. Well, it's nice to see you. Thank you. Well, okay, I well, think they're going to want a group picture here in front of the fireplace. Okay. Well, so, find the right. ladies kind of the ladies get in the middle. In there. Mm -hmm. there we go. Let's all right. sit on the side here. Sure. All right. There, there we go. go. Mother, isn't it? Oh, no, those go to Tom. Are those go to Tom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't drop oh, their glasses. Oh, thank you, Mr. Oh, that's right. It's very nice. And thank you. I know you're old enough now to play with the pen knife. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And this, that's right, this is for you. Oh, thank that's you. A, you very oh, nice. Super. Souvenir of the place. That's nice. The two brothers get key rings also. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You get a pin with the seal. Oh, thank you so much. Well, thank you very much. Years, but glad to see you all. And, uh, thank you. Because he told you that I'm working too hard. No, but he has told us. He has told us he wishes he could work for another four years with you. That's right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We were kind of hoping it might have worked out that way. We all are. Hey, now they've got a hungry. Now, when I get out of here, when so that nobody can accuse me of doing it for myself, I have to promise that I'm going to campaign for getting rid of that amendment to the Constitution, you know, which was only put there out of kind of revenge for Roosevelt. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I think it's an infringement of the people's rights. You ought to be able to vote for whoever you want to vote for and for whom you want to vote for. I'm sure, sure you had the support that would have brought another election to you. That's right. Absolutely. No doubt. Absolutely. We were I've got mixed feelings. I'm not sure whether I am. That's right. You always hear the bad, but you, it's so, you hear all the good out there. A lot of people 100% behind you, I'm sure. 
I'm not sure what would happen. That's right. Well, we'll be joining you in California, so we won't be too far. That's right. We'll be there in uh, the open house for lasagna. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Ask Mark Weinberg. He's had it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Mr. Yeah. President, I've never, I've always held a grudge against Charles Coburn for King's Row for cutting those legs off. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad to see um, you. You're doing well. Well. <laughs> That was, that was probably the best picture I was ever in. As a matter of fact, right. for a I long know. time it used to appear on the list of the ten best pictures. Yeah. And yet, you know something? I've never been in a picture that was as panned by the newspaper critics as that one. As it was right. back in that era. That was that era in Hollywood and, and it led to the big communist thing and all. Oh, yeah. Oh, Just and the, that. many of the theater critics were on the other side and the director of the picture. Mm -hmm. King's role. Mm -hmm. The director was one of the most outspoken fellows about left wingers and so forth yeah. uh, that there's ever been. And this was how mm -hmm. they got even. And the FBI told me it wasn't just a supposition of art. They told me that there were movie critics in the press in those days that they read their reviews to get a lead on other people in the business. Uh -huh and their communist activities because they said they'd pan a picture and say it was terrible and everything, but so-and-so did everything that could be done with the limited material and all, and they would then start following so-and-so. <laughs> well, I remember the movie well. Oh, I was heartbroken. <laughs> At least they don't do that anymore, right? <laughs> they don't make movies like they used to. I made a personal appearance in the town. Spoke, as a matter of fact, at a graduation of a small college there some years later, after that picture had been made, mm -hmm. uh, because that was the town that was King's Row in the picture. Ah, yes. And the writer was a uh, inhabitant of that town and everything, and the people there were pretty upset. They knew the people and identified the families that were the characters in the, oh, in the picture. Oh, I of that. I wasn't very popular there. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't hurt you. Well, <laughs> Well, thank you very much for having us. Well, thank you. Um, this time has been well, like will not, be treasured. Like you know, I'm sure that your presidency will stand out as a shining star. History will treat you well, Mr. President. Well, thank you I'm very much. I'm very confident of it. Yeah. Thank well, you. That's fine. Right. I'll take care of California when I get there. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll see you some sunshine. Well. Come on, make another morning. Thank you, sir. It's really been an honor. Well, well, I wish you well, and thanks for everything. Oh, well, pleasure's been mine. Thank, thank you, you. Mr. President. <laughs> thank you again. You Thank you. I want a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy. Thanks. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Thank 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 you.